Hey guys, once again, it's Nation Be The Limitless. Welcome to this place. So CNBC just posted an article saying that uh, 60% of Americans were going to fall into debt once a $1,000 emergency came up. I read that and I thought to myself, this is totally unacceptable. Imagine this in the United States of America, how about the rest of the world? And hearing such an article from CNBC is totally surprising since uh, financial education is not something which is actually emphasized in the school systems. So a lot of people out there, they grow up without knowing how to properly manage their money. On top of that, even many parents, they don't teach their children about how to manage their money because even them themselves, they don't know how. So talking about money became like uh, a taboo topic but we are going to change that one today yeah yeah <laughs> right today excellent excellent yeah yeah <laughs> so how do you manage your money like the one percent so we're going to learn how to manage your money like one percent so that you won't fall into that category or those who are going to fall into debt once a thousand dollar emergency comes up so in this video we're going to learn step by step the blueprint that wealthy people have used the strategies and habits that a lot of people have used to build their financial empires so we're going to learn that today in this video. You might not be in the 1% yet, but I guarantee you if you can follow this blueprint step by step with consistency, you will eventually end up in the 1%. So how do the wealthy manage their money? So they all hit that like button. So if you haven't done that one already, just hit it. Let's get it out of the way. So seriously, they all understand the flow of money and also how to properly allocate their finances. And it all begins with step number one. So let's go. So the step number one begins with having a budget and also having a plan on how to reduce your unnecessary spendings. So this is a big one and if you can actually skip the rest of the video and just focus on this one, trust me, you're gonna be ahead of 99% because almost no one else does this. So if you're in the point where you are actually struggling with money, so learning how to budget and also cut all unnecessary spendings is very vital for you. So this one is like your financial check engine light and knowing how to check your expenses will help you to know what's wrong and how you can fix it. And the most surprising thing is that a lot of people they just ignore this financial check engine light and they have no idea of you know <laughs> boop, boop, boop. it's natural be the limitless so so the most surprising thing is that actually a lot of people they don't know how much they're spending and what they're spending it on so all they know is that they have an x amount of money in their bank account so when their account goes up they start spending when it goes down they start cutting back but that is not exactly how wealthy people manage their money so my first recommendation you are going to check and to track your expenses within a period of two months you can use mint.com personalcapital.com or even excel sheet uh, it doesn't matter whatever method you want to use as long as you track your expenses so that you can know exactly what you are spending your money on. This is not a time you actually tell yourself, no, I'm not going to spend on this or I'm not going to spend on that. This is actually your time to really know how you spend your money. And by doing this, you will exactly know if you are spending your money on the things which you don't really need at all. And also tracking your expenses is going to really help you save more than 10% every single month. this one with the shirt no way uh -huh. You ready for step number two? Okay, let's go. You're going to create an emergency fund. Every single wealthy person that I know has at least a three to six month emergency fund already in place. So by tracking your expenses now, you already know how much you can spend a month for you to live. So you are going to save three to six times that amount in cash. And this one is not your, ooh, see a flat screen at 30% off. And this one is not your, ooh, Bastros has a new petite fillet, 30% off, I need that one. So this one is supposed to be your break in case emergency fire extinguisher. This one is in case you have no other place else to turn and something unexpectedly just came up. And the reason this one is very important is that uh, it's really gonna help you not know, to be in position where a thousand dollar cause you to go into debt. You want the uh, light really to be in a position where you can't eat food, you can't pay rent, you can't pay essentials. This uh, emergency 
urgency is really really very vital especially if you have a family you have a wife and kids and trust me something we eventually always come up and it happens to all of us always some medical emergency may come up so you might lose your job your business might decline you might have some medical emergency you might you know a b c d e f g things always happen especially if you have a family this is something really to really consider so much uh, you know having an emergency fund already in place will help you tremendously so that in case if anything comes up you don't have to stress about anything you're already covered and this one of course comes with the priceless psychological aspect with it especially if you want to manage your money like the one percent so it's nation be the limitless top flag club visionary up to the hopeless and dread to the nations of the world. Step number three, you're going to take advantage of your employer sponsored retirement plan matching. And this one is going to work if your employer offers a 401k matching. So let me tell you about something. If you forget about this entire video, don't forget about this one. Always take it. Take that employer matching. Here is what I mean by this one. A 401k match, we we contribute dollar for dollar every single amount of money you were able to contribute up to a certain amount of your agreement honestly there's no other type of investment in the world that does this thing you know so all you can do right now is to go to ask your employer if they offer this 401k matching and if they do find out how much they contribute so that you can contribute the same amount as well so step number four, you're going to pay off your high rate interest debt. So if you have about 5% bad debt, you're going to pay it first. And when it comes to pay your debt, we consider two strategies right here. The first one is called avalanche method, which is mathematically going to leave you with most of the money left over back in your pocket. So the first strategy is to first of all start with paying your high interest rate first, which is costing you the most amount in interest. Because this one will help you save much more in the long run. The second method is Dave Ramsey approach, which is also called the snowball method. But this one you first of all pay the smallest debt so that you can be able to free up some cash flow. And when you're done with it, you go to the next one, then you go to the next one, then you go to the next one, then you go to the next one. The psychological aspect of this one is actually that uh, once you see results of what you have already done, it might give you a boost which will actually keep you on track to keep on paying even much more debts. Step number five we're going to look into now, investing back in your self-education. You know $100 per week can help you actually buy any book you want, invest in a new skill, learning a new business and also reinvest in your business. I really believe that self-education on this very point is so vital. And if you're in a position right now where you're already cutting enough as you can, but you don't still have really any significant amount left over for you to start reinvesting, what I can recommend to you is that you need to start looking into how you can increase your income. You need to start making more money. You know there's a level of life you can never really go beyond unless you start making more money. Maybe you need to start looking into how you can switch your jobs, changing your business, or starting a new career, starting a sad hustle, and do any other thing else that can actually help you to increase your income. Thankfully that now you are paying your high interest rate debt. Now all of that actually will give you more flexibility for you to actually take much more risk for you to increase your income so that you can start managing your money like the 1%. Step number six, considering that you have already done all that we talked before and you still have some money left over now, what you're going to do with it is that you're going to contribute some of it to the Roth IRA. This is an account that allows you to invest the after-tax money. And everything that that money is going to make within the Roth IRA account is going to be completely tax-free by the age of 60. This means that you can have decades of growth, compound interest, working in your favor. And this one is really vital if you want to manage your money like the one percent step number seven then and only if you have already done everything we said in this video then you should start investing into taxable accounts or start making any other investment with your money you know this is after tracking your expenses right this is after you created an emergency fund this is after you contributed some of your money into the 401k match by your employer this is after you have paid all your high interest rate debt and this is after you have already 
already invested back in yourself for your self-education. And this is after you have contributed some of your money into the Roth IRA. Step 7. And this step is actually where you open a brokerage account and start trading stocks, investing in real estate, or create your own business. This step is about creating passive income and increase your income even further. I know all of this might sound like a daunting task, especially if you're starting right now in debt without any significant amount to begin with. Just focus on one step at a time instead. And it is totally fine if each one of these steps takes you months or even years. There's no problem with that one. Because this is not something that is supposed to be done within a week or within a month. Take as much as time as you want as long as you are planned exactly of what to follow. And you know exactly uh, you are consistently and you are dedicated towards building each of those steps. All these seven steps may actually take you years until you get to the last step of starting investing into real estate to increase your net worth. My perspective is is that uh, every single wealthy person I've seen they all follow these seven steps we already discussed and the hardest part of doing the seven steps is starting therefore make up your mind to start with step number one if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified every single time you post a new video and also remember to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm thank you so very much and you can enjoy the rest of the videos on nation be trend nation be music nation be virus I always post the best the world videos every single day for you to enjoy because i know you deserve the best in the world so with that said thank you so very much see you next time